What is up guys, it is Ecos here and I'm back here with another Unity Devug video. Today I'm going to go over what I've done on the Dark Realm over the past few weeks. But before we get started, for those who are new to this devlog series, first I recommend you go check out the first devlog on the Dark Realm. Also, let me tell you what this game is about. The Dark Realm is a 2D side scroller about a normal man named Jake who was taken by this mysterious black mist. After being taken, he woke up in this dark forest that seemed like home, but really, it was a living hell. While Jake was living this nightmare, in reality, he was in a coma. Jake didn't know he was in a coma, but he knew his only goal was to escape. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Now, before continuing with the game's campaign and story, there are still a few more things I needed to implement before I moved on to the next phase of the game. First, I wanted to add a way to pick up the flashlight in the living room scene and get that flashlight working. But after playing the game for a little bit, thinking about how I would do so and fighting the spiders, I noticed some flaws in my combat system, mainly to do with the spider's knockback and hit detection. So I went ahead and tried to fix that. The main problem with the knockback was that occasionally the spiders would go flying every now and again after being hit by the player, so I began trying to come up with a fix. I first thought that maybe the problem was when the spider was trying to dash in a, as an attack towards the player, which was done via code in added velocity at, onto the spider, and when the player attacked the spider as the spider was dashing, that maybe those two forces were being added together. So I began troubleshooting and trying to come up with different ways to fix the issue, but nothing was working. So I did what any sane person would do. I deleted the game and burned my MacBook. <laughs> Just kidding. I took the question to Google, but after trying every possible way to try and make sure the two forces of knockback and the spider's dash were not combined, nothing would work. But then I rethought the situation. I realized that maybe it had nothing to do with the dash. Maybe it was just a bug that was occurring when adding a force to the spider for knockback. So once again, I took the question to Google and finally found a solution that worked properly. So I implemented it into my knockback code and tested it. And thankfully, it worked way better than expected and combat felt smooth and non-buggy. Now that I had that out of the way, I wanted to get started on getting this flashlight working. So I began by getting the player to be able to walk over the flashlight and pick it up. But I also wanted a text to pop up to tell the player what to press to pick up the flashlight, so I went ahead and created that. Then, via code, I created a way for the pickup text to pop up and the player to pick up the flashlight when he walked over it. I also forgot to get a button to work. You need to put the input.key method inside of the update function, but after figuring that out, I had a fully functional pickup system for the flashlight. But the flashlight didn't work yet, so that was my next task. I quickly created a flashlight script and got to work. It was simple, but it still took a second to figure out. After getting the flashlight fully functional, I, did, I needed to save and load the data of the disabled ground flashlight in the living room scene and the enabled player flashlight. So even though this is not the most efficient way of saving, like the rest of my game, I turned to player prefs, player prefs to save the data. I, quick, I quickly set the data of the two flashlight objects being in being disabled and enabled, and I found a way to load it on player start. Overall, these last couple of weeks have been great. Even though I didn't add too much, I fixed some bugs and I definitely learned some things, especially about the combat system. But that's it for today, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. And I hope everyone today has been going good. If it hasn't, then I hope this video helped. If it didn't, then I hope you guys can do something today that I'm going to do good. And then you can reflect on today and say it was a good day. So yeah, I'm C Codes. Thank you guys for watching. And it's the next one. Peace.